Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. There's Porter in front of the uh, Boston Public Library down here in Copley. I want to see if they um, if they change the rules. on uh, public photography and I know I, I don't think it has but I'm gonna ask a few questions and see see I got a, I got a question for you what, what are the rules and regulations for public photography in, in the library there is no professional you can't professionally come and take pictures of like a bride and groom or a group of people gotcha. Yeah. I appreciate you. Because I went down to the Boston Public Library in Roxbury. They gave me a whole different song and dance. Oh, well, here, they, it's like a lot of people do come to take pictures of the architecture and right. you know, the building. So it's like a, it's a bit different. Depends on where you go, it's going to get a B different. Yeah. But you, yeah. you, you, get a, you get an A plus for that. <laughs> but um, the one in Roxbury, they need some education. <laughs> it can come off as suspicious activity because a lot in the training, they say. Yeah. If someone's coming and taking pictures of the building, it can come off as a special activity. Gotcha. Be careful, because it could be someone that's mapping out the place. I heard that before too, but it's, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. But you, but you know, you did you did pretty good. You, you, you did good, man. Keep up the good work. So he he's he knows about it, and he's he's he seems like he's very well versed in public photography. He he said for commercial use, and that's 100 percent correct. If you're gonna do commercial use, like a bride, a wedding, a commercial, or something like that. Ironically, you have a news station right over here. But um, yeah, I just wanted to see if they changed the laws in the libraries, but I guess they didn't. This is WGBH. I don't know if you guys ever watch WGBH, but that's their studio. And unfortunately, I, I cannot zoom in because I'm in a different mode. So I'm not going to be able to zoom in on that. Even if I tried, I can't do it. I got I to gotta get myself out of that mode to do it. But um, I just came down here to see if they changed the laws on um, recording in the library, but I guess not. All right, so I'm going to head about it here, because I did do a tour on this, I want to say two years ago. Um, and this is the new, newly installed library. Oh, I'm not sure what that is. Ladder one, a medical alarm. One Michelangelo Street. Boston, ladder one, a medical alarm, one Michelangelo Street. Boston. Now, are, are you private security or you work for the city? Security. Securitas. Securitas. So you, you, did, you did good for being at work for Securitas because a lot of people don't know that. Oh, we had a protocol. We had to yeah. watch the orientation before we come. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. It does, it does vary by size. Yeah, because I, I don't do a lot of First Amendment audits, but the one down, the one down Dougley came out to be an audit rather than a tour of the library. Because she was like, you can't record it. I'm like, well, what law is that? And she couldn't tell me the law. She she said she had a bunch of stuff, but she couldn't, had, she had no facts. So, I, so I'm going to call her supervisor tomorrow and find out what's going on. Apparently they didn't educate them as much as they educated you. Yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole, whole booklet on it, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm pretty sure they have it down there. They didn't feel to read it. <laughs> but keep up the good work, my man. You keep that attitude, you're going to go places, man. All right, take care now. All right, you too. I used to do security years and years ago, and I, I, I used to do the... I always respond on what I, what I know and not what I don't know. Yeah. And that, that kind of helps you. If, if, right, if you don't know, research it and find out. But keep up the good work, my man. Take care. Yeah. All right, so this gentleman is well, well, well versed on what he's supposed to be doing. He said, as a, I, I'm assuming he read that whole book, because um, he sounds pretty thorough on what, he's, um, what he knows. And uh, he's, he's actually correct. He's 100% correct. So I'm down here in the Copy Library. I just wanted to see if the laws have changed in the libraries, and they haven't. So uh, some, for some reason, the uh, Roxbury Branch Library uh, needs to get educated on that. So I will call supervisors tomorrow and find out what's going on out there. Catch you guys in the next one. Um, Boston Police and Transit has something going on over here, but that's, that's another video, if it does become a video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.